Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom, Huffer. And this decal set includes two decal sheets on foil backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Huffer, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Huffer looks great. And in my opinion, he's one of the best Kingdom figures that we've gotten so far in the whole line. And that's surprising since, well, it's Huffer. Now taking a closer look at the figure, he's got some amazing paint applications. Starting up here with the head sculpt, he's got nice shiny blue eyes, a silver face, light blue paint right here on the outside area of the chest, and a red Autobot logo dead center on white background. Moving on down to the stomach area, we do have silver paint there for the abs and silver paint there on the crotch. Legs, no paint applications whatsoever until you look at the wheels, which have silver paint on the hubcaps. But we'll take a look at that more in vehicle mode. I love the arms. That is paint right there on the shoulders and forearms. It really adds some nice shine to his arms, which is a throwback to his Generation 1 toy. His gun right here is actually molded orange plastic, but has been painted a dark gray, almost black. Same can be said for his shield. It's orange plastic with that dark gray or black paint there on the back and silver paint right there for the claws. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Huffer in robot mode before and after huffer gets a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode thanks to toy hacks including a couple of g1 toy nods now taking a closer look at the figure the first decal you're probably noticing is this new turquoise decal right there in the middle of his chest with a new autobot logo right below that he gets a new yellow and red decal and down on the crotch a blue decal and both of those are a throwback to the original Generation 1 toy. Now, Huffer's arms get some new decals as well. Up here on top of the shoulders, you have chrome decals that are not shown on the ToyHacks.com sticker map at all. It took me a while to figure out where those go, but if you see these little strips on the decal sheet, you're not sure, right up there on top of the shoulders. He also gets new chrome decals for the biceps, New black decals there inside the wrists. On the other side of the wrist is a kind of a light silver decal that makes his wrist blend in more with the rest of the forearm where that used to be all black. And he also gets chrome that wraps completely around the wrist. Moving on down to the legs, you get new gold decals right there for the knees and shins and new blue decals for the feet. Huffer's weapon gets decals as well. You got hazard striping on both sides and the shield gets new silver decals right there. So there you go, guys. There is Huffer in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Huffer still looks really, really good with very impressive paint applications. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, he has silver paint applications right here for the bumper for the front grille, for the lights. The side mirrors right there are also painted silver along with these lights here on top. Now he does have translucent plastic windows all the way around that unlike most vehicles don't look too bad because you cannot see a lot of robot junk on the inside. It actually cleans up really well. Now this translucent plastic piece pretty much encircles the entire inside of the cab which is why you also have translucent plastic up there 
for those top lights. Of course, he does have nice painted rims that I showed you earlier in robot mode, and there is his arms that are now the vehicle exhaust painted silver as well. The back of the vehicle, of course, there's his robot hands. The back of the vehicle is his weapons. You've got the gun, which is now split in half on either side, and the shield, which is this middle section. Of course, you see the nice painted silver there on the rear, and he has painted brake lights. Now, I, for one, am not a fan of this look right here with the weaponry attached because he looks more like a pickup truck than a tow truck, which is what he's supposed to be. But that's easily remedied. You just pop the gun pieces off, pop the shield off, and now you have Huffer looking like he's supposed to, and those weapon pieces are hiding this really well-molded, toe area. I'm not sure what that's called, but that looks great with the molded diamond plating, and I love it. That's the look of Huffer for me. So there you go, guys. One final look at Huffer in vehicle mode before and after. Huffer's vehicle mode gets quite the upgrade thanks to toy hacks, and the first decals you're probably noticing are the new window decals that look great. I absolutely love the two-tone look, how it goes from a lighter white to a darker blue as the window goes up. I think that looks awesome and really makes this vehicle pop now. He also gets new decals there on the side that have this M design, which is a throwback to the original Generation 1 toy. See the M design right there on the side? I love it. There's also new decals right there that cover up those unsightly pins. On the front of the vehicle, he gets lots of nice new chrome. Chrome here on the grill and on the bumpers. And Toy Hacks was gracious enough to send extras of these bumper decals because those are a challenge to put on. As you can see, they do wrap around. He also gets new decals there for the lights. And right here, he gets a vanity license plate. I pick the one that says Huffer. You do have options, and I love the options. Let's see if I can get this to focus in. You've got whiny and no dinos. <laughs> the whiny one just, that, that cracked me up. I loved it. Okay, here, continuing on. The smokestacks, or exhaust, now have new decals here on the inside that kind of give it more depth. Chrome decal right here along the middle, and chrome decal here on the bottom. Rear of the vehicle here in tow truck mode, he gets hazard stripings right there and gold decaling along the back. There's also new light decals for the taillights and a second vanity plate I picked Huffer. Now, if you choose to attach the weaponry to the rear of Huffer in vehicle mode, they get new decals as well. There's a white stripe that goes all along the outside of the gun halves along with new hazard striping there on the inside and a nice silver decal or two nice silver decals on the inside of the truck bed. So there you go, guys. There is Huffer in vehicle mode after. Toyhacks.com once again knocks it out of the park with this decal set for Kingdom Huffer. And I absolutely love the Generation 1 throwbacks. Though I do feel that Huffer's vehicle mode benefits a lot more from this decal set than his robot mode, but still, all in all, a fantastic upgrade to a fantastic figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!